So we have got the Blue Jay baseball cap on <laughs> in honor of the new Blue Jay van. So you've seen it, I'm absolutely buzzing. It's a couple of days later now and you're finding me in my lovely, nice, clean, tidy garage. In fact, all this rubbish today is going to the tip, the local recycling center. So I need to get my flooring down in my van so as I can take it all. Um, it's actually raining outside today and I haven't done that much work on the van, but this is the first day where I've realized I can't do anything out on the driveway. <laughs> or I said, I'm just gonna get soaked and everything's gonna get soaked. So I've either gotta be in the garage or in the van, just so I can stay dry, especially today, because I'm gonna be putting down this stuff here, um, which is this like thermal insulation board. It's really rigid and very, very good at insulating. Um, something like a van, you know, this is gonna be great down on the floor, so I'll show you how I do that. This grey stuff here is plywood for the floor of the van, it actually came with it. So once I got all of the racking and stuff out of the van, I was left with this, which is brilliant, because it means I don't have to go to Wix or something like that, buy some plywood and measure out the floor of the van and, you know, scribe the edges and stuff like that. So that saved me a bit of a job. And then I may get around to putting some of this around the wheel arches today as well. We'll see some of this thermo wrap. Um, first things first, I got this through yesterday, I think. This was a, just a delivery from Amazon of some things that are gonna be for the van. So I'll show you what I've got here. All right, so this is some aluminium foil tape. I'm gonna be using that today in conjunction with the thermal board, which of course I'll show you all about soon enough. Uh, this, I might actually do this today as well after I've done the floor. We'll see how I get on, but this uh, th this is like these deadening strips or panels that you stick on the side of the van to deaden the sound. We'll get into that. Uh, that's a little mitre box, which is gonna help me to um, cut my wood a little bit further down the line, probably when I'm doing cabinets and building the bed and stuff. Perfect 90 degree angles or 45 degree angles probably will come in useful. Um, this is an idea I got from Paul Messner's YouTube channel, who also did a van build, I think like last year. Um, and this, you can probably see here, it allows you to join wood in 90 degree angles, so then you can screw into the side of them uh, and get them nice and flush, you know. Again, that'll be a bit further down the line. This, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's my fuse box. Um, so yeah, this is obviously electrical stuff that's gonna be coming not too long. I think probably once I've done all the insulation um, and stuff like that, I'll probably be coming onto some of my electrics soon enough. So dare I say it, I may even be the next video. I'll wait and see a few little, um, what are they like shrink wrap, like heat shrink wraps, get into all of that. Uh, that's the fuses that came with that. And then finally, we've got a little 12 volt um, plug and actually this this along with my battery obviously is going to be like the foundation of my whole electrical system in the van so that's my deliveries also this gorilla wood glue as well this is going to come in handy when i'm again building cupboards and stuff in the bed right i'll tell you what i'll pop to the van now and show you where i'm at so you're all caught up let me just show you this before i Get yous all caught up with where I'm at. This is some recycled plastic loft insulation. I went out and bought this yesterday. This is the fluffy stuff. This is gonna be for the, the walls of the van and maybe the ceiling as well. Um, from what I've read online, this is really, really good stuff. Um, it repels water really well. It's not like the toxic, itchy stuff that you can get in, in attics, you know, stuff like that. Um, so this will be great for the van. So you can probably see exactly what I'm doing here. Um, and this is all I've done so far, except from strip everything out of the van. This is where I'm at, so you're all caught up now. <laughs> um, I've been putting this battening down, which is just 25 mil lengths of wood, all obviously cut um, to fit the floor of, of my van. Um, and I've just allowed these little boxes here, which as you can see, is where the, the foam insulation slots into. You know, it doesn't need gluing down or anything like that. So you can see exactly what I'm gonna be cracking on with today. I'll be coming to the van, running through the rain <laughs> with the tape measure, measuring one of these boxes, or I should maybe measure them all in one go, and then running back to the garage and just literally cutting it out on the foam board, slotting it in. So I just wanna let you know how I've got these battens down to the, to the van floor as well, if anyone's wondering. I started off with some really strong adhesive underneath, um, you know, like sort of uh, no more nails kind of stuff. And then I got some really cool, like self-drilling, self-tapping screws that go through the sheet metal. Um, so 
the the wood like i said is 25 mil the screws are 38 mil so it only just goes down through the metal and obviously you have to be careful you have to know what you're drilling into underneath your van but that's down really really strong ready for the insulation So I'm just going to be using a old bread knife from the kitchen to cut through this stuff. It works. I could do with going to Wix and buying like a small little hand saw, um, but I don't see the point. Uh, this does the job. It just makes a hell of a racket. I told you. <laughs> So I've just got this last one to cut out now. Where's my lines? There we go. So there to there. And then we'll get him in. And that is the board section <laughs> complete. So the way I've been measuring it and cutting it, obviously it's been fairly rough. Uh, we'll get this last panel in now. And I'll show you how I'm going to tidy it all up. Right, so as I was saying, you can see a lot of the edges here um, are a little bit rough and ready. Uh, here's a good example here. Um, so what I'm going to do is start using the aluminium tape. and I'm going to stretch it out and see, put it across like that. Uh, this stuff's pretty much the same as the stuff that comes on the top and the bottom, actually, of this thermal board. And this is just like a sort of aluminium foil that um, seals in the water, the, the, the water vapour, you know. This is our vapour barrier. So it's really important that I get these seals correct. So I'll probably even put a couple of strips across like this, you know, and like this. And any little areas like that, um, I'll just sort of chop away with the Stanley knife. So it'll also neaten it up a little bit as well. Beast. Oh, it's a nightmare to get these things apart. Obviously the back of the tape is adhesive, but oh goodness me, this is not good. Brilliant, so that is a good job done. That looks wonderful, really happy with the way that's turned out. Um, definitely looks a lot neater and tidy, but critically, it's gonna give us that vapor seal, that water vapor seal. Um, the only little bit I'm concerned about, let me show you this, because the rain's been coming into the van where I've been in and out, you see here, you can see there, it's not really stuck down properly there. There's a good bit there, look. Um, just because these, this little section of the wood has got a little bit damp, so I'll have to check back up on that later. Um, what I'm going to do now is get a little bit of this stuff, this thermo wrap. It's like um, um, insulation for wall and floor application. So I wouldn't say this insulates that much from what I've read. Uh, yeah, you can see it reflects radiant heat. Um, so it's it's a different type of insulation, if you will. But it's also this sort of aluminium foil, so it's good for a water vapour barrier as well. And I'm going to put this around these two wheel arches now. Did not enjoy that, did not enjoy that one bit, um, but it's gone on uh, pretty well. And yeah, that probably looks a little bit rough and ready again, but um, like everything that I've been doing today, really, it's all about serving a practical purpose. I'm nowhere near like any of the aesthetics of the van or anything like that yet. 
But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Again, maybe a little bit of concern with the tape down in these areas um, at the bottom, just because same as when I was putting the insulation down in the floor, just a little bit damp down there. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Maybe I won't actually screw the ply plywood in today, you know, the floor that's gonna go above all of this insulation. I'll have to see. Um, so that's done. What I'm gonna do now, this is probably gonna be the last thing that I do, before I go to the tip and clean out the garage a bit more, um, I'm gonna put some of these sound deadening panels on. So if you listen to this, oh, rotten. And then this, this all shakes about um, and vibrates when you're driving. So I'll get a few of them on now, hopefully. That should make a bit of a difference. Ah, so, here's my box. And you can actually just cut these with scissors. Um, so they already come in that sort of size but obviously it depends on your van and again it's not going to look pretty but i'm just going to sort of spread them around the inside of these panels pretty sporadically and uh, yeah they've just got sort of adhesive on the back one thing i would say from what i've read about these and seen on youtube is i think they're really hard to get off <laughs> once they've gone on this adhesive, adhesive stuff must be pretty strong but uh yeah i don't really plan on taking them off all right let's crack on <laughs> Oh, so look at this. I've only just noticed this. If you look at the window of the van, like the front windscreen there, um, loads of condensation on the inside. Obviously, just because I've been in here, that's all. Especially because it's raining outside as well, your condensation gets a lot worse. As I've gone to start putting some of these on now, look at this. Loads of condensation. Look at that on the inside of the van. And that is exactly why we need this, this vapor seal. This is really, really important because I'm gonna have, where my hand is there, I'm gonna have like insulation there. I don't want that all getting wet. And I, I wanna avoid this um, on the inside of the van as much as, as I possibly can. And all that is, is because I've made it warmer in here from my body heat and things like that. And the vapor that I'm breathing out is a lot warmer than what's going on outside. So because these panels are really, really cold, that's what's happening, so I'm going to have to wipe these down <laughs> before I put the panels on. Um, so, you can see they've gone on nicely, same behind me, and then on the doors at the back of the van as well. Um, so, just for reference, if anyone's wondering, I bought, I put links to everything that I've purchased for the car underneath the video description. I'll make that, um, I'll, I'll make sure that I always do that so you can see what I've purchased. This is one square meter, um, so it gives you a little bit of a reference, and I've got one panel left which is gonna go on that one down there. Um, so this was only about, I think it was 17.99, if I remember rightly, on Amazon. And it's done me really, really well. That's one thing I'm noticing. All of the videos that I've watched, people have got big, big vans, you know, sprinters, which means that everything I'm getting is smaller, it's cheaper. So that's one good thing about having a, a micro camper, a smaller van. Right, I'll get this last panel on, and then I'm gonna bring the plywood, uh, the plyboard in for the floor, and I'm not gonna screw it in just yet, because like I said before, I want to keep an eye on some of the foil at the back that's got a bit damp. Sweet. All right, so I think that'll do for now. I'm not going to screw it down just yet for two reasons. Firstly, I'll mention again, <laughs> because you can see there, look, it's proper obvious now. That's not stuck down properly, so I need to either redo that after it's dried or sort it out in some sort of way. And then here, because this plywood was flush with the blue bare metal at the bottom, um, it probably I'd probably just need to file it a little bit round this edge on both sides so it fits into there nicely. Um, because at the minute it's just ripping the, the foil tape. So I'm gonna go to the tip. I need to get a bit of a wobble on. It's annoying, it's probably the same in most sort of council areas, but 
where I live, you've got to book an appointment to go to the recycling centre if you've got a van, which makes sense, or else um, I suppose they get a load of commercial vans going there, dumping a lot of stuff. So I've got to make sure I meet the appointment time. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, all the links will be in the description below for anything that I've used. And please hit the subscribe button. Um, next week, I'll probably, I mean, I don't know, but I'll probably be doing the insulation for the walls and the ceiling side of the van and perhaps some other bits and bobs as well. Uh, but yeah, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button as well. It really helps me out. Um, oh, I don't know what to say now because it's not like my normal video. I'll see you on the next adventure. Out.